So, uh, it's March 9th, 2021, 11.51 p.m. No, it's serious. Um, so, uh, we're kind of getting out of quarantine. I mean, not getting out of quarantine, but we're kind of getting out of, um, just going back to quote unquote normal. And I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, isolation has been one of the best things that have happened to me. Um, even though it came with tragedy um, within my own life and then, you know, my personal life and then with the greater greater U.S. and then the greater world, I mean, you know, this has been a tragic moment for everyone. Um, but for some reason, being in quarantine has been one of the best things that's happened to me. It's been a moment of just living, just chilling, doing what needs to be done and just existing. I think so much of my life I've been trying to prove something, trying to conform to something, trying to make something, trying to create something. Just this endless spindle of like, I don't know, just like trying to force my existence, trying to make sure that I'm important to someone or making sure that I'm loved or making sure that my work, my art speaks to someone. And I think during quarantine, it was just all about me just existing as myself, not being a dancer, not being an actor, not being a terrible singer, not being, I don't know, not being a a director or an artist. It was just about me being me, me trying different things, me trying to do different things, trying to exist within my family, trying not to force my life on them creating order within my life or letting this order happen trusting God believing in God letting I don't know just trusting him and believing him expanding my knowledge on him on her on them I don't know I hope good comes after this. I pray that it does. I hope that it does. I wish that it does. Um, I'm scared almost. Not of what happens next within my own personal life, but I just... Okay, I'm not scared per se. I'm, I, I guess, fearful of just, like, having everyone come back out... It's about to be summer. Well, spring first and then summer. And then just having people just come out and, you know, everyone's vaccinated, which is good. But it's like, I won't be alone anymore. I I, I won't be just someone that just exists. I will have to find employment. I will have to find a reason to live through someone else's eyes or through someone else's context. Or I will have to go back to the cycle of proving myself to people and I know people can be like oh you can't you don't have to do that you can take what you learned here but that's how the world works that's how working for someone works I mean that's just how it is um and I'll eventually you know be independent and find my way in this world but it's almost sad in a way that quarantine or you know this whole COVID thing Without, you know, despite the tragedy, without the tragedy, has been my ideal world. Has been, you know, having people not see the bottom half of your face has been one of the best things ever. Dancing during this time has been great. Making the connections I've made with people has been great. I, I, I feel like I'm opening up because the world is shut down. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss all of it. And I'm going to look back and I'm like, wow. What a time. What a time 
Well time.